Greetings to all who've tuned in. We're thrilled to have you on board for another episode of Dread Captures. Prepare yourself for an adventure that promises your fix of adrenaline, paired with clips that will test your mind and the kind of frights that might just make you shiver. We appreciate you choosing to spend your time with us. So without further delay, let's get straight into the captures. Christina Roberts was turkey hunting when she stumbled upon two creatures she identified as Sasquatches. The part that really creeped her out is that she thought that they were carrying a dead deer, possibly one they had hunted and were about to feed upon. Upon reviewing the original footage, you can tell she was visibly shaking, and she seems to be talking very quietly as to not be noticed. However, when the footage is enhanced, this is where opinions vary. Some viewers insist they're just people. They're just regular hunters. Others have said that Christina is definitely just pretending and they can tell from the video. Now there's another camp. And this group says that there's no possible way these are humans. Now, as much as I'd like to, unfortunately, I would have to agree with them just being hunters. To me, the more I watch it, it just looks like two guys walking through the woods. These videos are tough because you never know the intentions of the person filming. It could have just been a joke that made its way to the internet. So it's tough to draw a definite conclusion. Now, what would have been funny is that it appears that these guys don't know she's there. So if she let off a warning shot, man, it would have scared them half to death. That would have been a good video. The user VidsWild posted a photo from a fan that was sent in, and it caused quite a stir online, especially because it looks a lot like a werewolf. At first, it just kind of seemed like a big wolf caught on a trail cam, but a closer look shows something really odd. As you can see, the creature has long fingers that look like human hands. I don't need to tell you that that's not something you normally see on wolves. And its face is odd too. It doesn't really match a typical wolf's either. Some people have even noticed that its teeth seem more human than animal. This mix of human and wolf traits have people going nuts. They're throwing all types of wild guesses out there. Could this be some kind of wolf person hybrid? Is this a dog man? Some are claiming the photos just messed up, that it's a hoax, someone's tricking us. I'm leaning towards all of the latter, but I will let you guys decide. This next picture comes as a viewer submission from a lady named Patricia. Patricia lives in Washington State and is an amateur photographer. I'll just read what she sent in by email. Dear Dread Captures team, I hope this message finds you well. I recently had a rather eerie experience that I felt compelled to share with your channel. My name's Patricia and I live in Upper Washington State. I've been experiencing with photography in the deep woodlands behind my home. I was practicing a technique where I take photos with my camera and later adjust the exposure to highlight specific areas that are usually hidden by shadows. During one of these sessions, I captured an image that, at first glance, appeared to be a typical forest scene. However, when I adjusted the lighting on a particularly dark section of the photo, I uncovered something truly inexplicable. Two distinct figures that seemed to be in motion. These silhouettes had a ghostly quality, almost as if they were phantoms caught mid-stride. And the creepiest part is that they were not visible to me at the time I took the picture. The figures appear human-like, but are covered in a blur that suggests rapid movement, more than what you'd expect from a single camera shake. The forest was calm and peaceful, and I was alone, which honestly makes the presence of these figures all the more unsettling. 
but I highlight that part because there's no way there was anyone else in the picture. As the days have gone on, I've become excited. They've brought about a feeling of a hidden reality, one that perhaps we are not meant to see. I've attached the photo for your review. I am at a loss for what these apparitions could be. As I mentioned, there were no other people in the vicinity that day, and the stillness of the forest was obvious. It's as if the camera lens pierced through a veil to another dimension, capturing inhabitants unaware of my presence. This photo has left me with more questions than answers and a newfound respect for the secrets the forest keeps. I would be honored if you considered featuring my photograph on Dread Captures. Perhaps your viewers might shed some light on this mystery. Warm regards, Patricia. Well, that is pretty creepy. I don't really know what to make of these. It looks like two men and they're in some type of robes. Both of them are bald, but then the one on the left kind of looks like a skeleton. I'd love to know more about what was on this property. There looks like there's some wood on the background, so I don't know if that was from an old house or if that's just regular piles of wood. There look to be some boards in there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is super intriguing to me. Get ready because what we're about to show you is absolutely crazy. Picture this, a quiet, almost eerily silent road in the dead of night. The only noise you can hear is the gentle hum of the car's engine. Inside we have two passengers. One of them is recording what appears to be a typical nighttime drive. The surroundings are covered in darkness with only a single street light flickering in the distance. Now, as the car rolls on, everything seems normal. The person with the camera is keeping it steady, although I'm not really sure what or why they're filming. But then out of nowhere, a quick white figure rushes past, cutting across the road. It's there and gone in a heartbeat, not even a few seconds. Just disappears into the dark night. Now this is either a person dressed in entirely white and moving really fast or it is a ghost. Some have speculated it could have been the ghost of someone who once met a tragic fate on this very road. I also think this could just be a drunk teenager running from a field party. However, this clip really makes you think, doesn't it? It reminds us that the cover of night might just be hiding mysteries that we can't even begin to fathom. So next time you're out on a dark, desolate road, keep your eyes peeled. Whip out your phone, because who knows what secrets the night might reveal. I think we could all agree that Bigfoot is typically linked to the remote mountainous regions of America. But surprisingly, there have also been several under the radar sightings in the United Kingdom. In 2021, Bigfoot hunter Lee Brickley reported finding tracks and claw marks in the forests of Britain, which he believes are evidence of an ape-like creature. These marks were discovered in Cannock Chase, Staffordshire. And if you've been watching this channel for any time, you know we've covered Cannock Chase a few times. It's a 26 square mile forest known for centuries of paranormal occurrences. I mean, ranging from child ghosts to UFOs and werewolves. Even reports of Yeti-like figures go back to the 1800s. Lee photographed footprints which he says were frightening 41 centimeters in length, almost double the size of a large human foot and way too big for any local wildlife. About a month later while he was hunting, he encountered large claw marks on a tree near a mauled deer. The deer had bite marks and its throat was torn out. Sightings and reports in this area have spiked since early 2019 leading many to suspect that some mysterious creature is lurking in Canic Chase. I don't know guys, maybe we have some listeners that live near there. Maybe they could check these woods out for us. In 2020, a hiker in California's San Gabriel Wilderness took out his camera to capture the scenery when he noticed something unusual in the trees and zoomed in. He recorded a large figure standing at what he estimates to be 10 to 15 feet tall. He said it was standing completely still, almost as if to not be noticed. The hiker has lived in this area his entire life, and he has never known of a Bigfoot sighting. We're about 10, 20 feet behind me, and I, as I turn around, I'm looking straight, and I see the creature on that tree. So what I do is I continue walking closer to, to try to tell myself, am I seeing a shadow, a tree scrum? 
at that point, I see his head turn. So I know that I'm not looking at a shadow. And this is where I stop. And this is where everything pretty much happens. This is where my daughter videotaped from your angle. And when he looked it up online, this area is not typical of where you would see Bigfoot sightings. However, a couple of years earlier, unbeknownst to this guy, a woman in the San Bernardino Mountains, not too far from San Gabriel, reported seeing a Sasquatch up in a tree. I swear to God, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. It caught her eye and she couldn't stop looking at it. She described how she walked closer to confirm if it was just a shadow. But then she saw its head turn, making her certain it was no shadow. Luckily for us, her daughter caught the moment on video. These mysterious encounters raised the question, could they have captured the same creature? What's your take? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't cross this mountain range in California off the Bigfoot list quite yet. A chilling photograph found on Google Maps and highlighted by a TikTok user sent the internet into a frenzy. In under one hour, this video had amassed over 220,000 views and widespread discussion was breaking out. The Chernobyl disaster in April of 86 was a catastrophic nuclear accident. It resulted in the evacuation and long-term displacement of tens of thousands of people. Places like the city of Pripyat within the Chernobyl exclusion zone had drawn the eerie fascination of tourists, with visitor numbers reaching approximately 100,000 annually. The image that has gone viral shows the eerie remnants of Pripyat's amusement park with the focus on the dilapidated Ferris wheel. The scene quickly becomes dicey when the video reveals a shadowy outline of a person dressed in what seems to be a purple jacket hiding behind a tree. And you know how quick everyone is on the internet. While it's hard to see, it didn't get past those people. Many viewers were saying that this was a person that was left over from the incident. They were talking about radiation's effects and all types of mutations. One guy threw a little humor into the comments by saying, how could a Google car have gotten to such a sealed off location? Anyhow, could this shadowy presence be a brave urban explorer or even an abandoned mannequin? I'd like to believe it's something more cryptic, but nevertheless, it makes you guess, really, what is it? I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on this. I don't have any experience with Photoshop, but I don't know if you could even do this or let me know. In an unusual twist on a quaint farm setting, a TikTok video from the user Brianna Antoinette has sparked a little bit of laughter and a lot of unease. The clip starts harmlessly enough, as we can see Brianna amongst her chickens, yet the mood takes a curious turn when she steps back. She calls out to the chickens, but they stay eerily still, as if time has stopped for them. Scrub time! Um, what the fool? <gasps> Why are they all not moving? As the video goes on, the intrigue grows. Then, just as suddenly as they had stopped moving, the chickens start up again, busily pecking and roaming, leaving everyone puzzled. Some TikTok viewers have guessed that the chicken's odd stillness might be a natural defense against a predator like a hawk that could be hiding nearby, basically thinking if they don't move, they won't be seen. Others jokingly suggest it might be proof that our world is just a simulation and the chickens are experiencing a glitch. What's your take on this curious event? This next clip is particularly creepy. It's a little different than what we normally showcase, but I think it just caught me so off guard I didn't really know what to think. And I've had a similar experience, which I'll tell you guys at the end. Anyhow, this is the strange case of Jack Frosey, a 32-year-old from Dunmore, Pennsylvania. I mean, it has left people all over the world confused. So Frosey passed away suddenly in June 2011 from an unexpected heart problem. I mean, just shocking his loved ones. As they began to come to terms with his sudden loss, something incredible happened starting in November of 2011. And this made them question what they knew about life and death. A guy named Tim Hart, Frosey's closest friend, was the first to encounter this. 
He was at home and an email popped up from Jack Frosey, who had passed away a few months ago. The subject line read, I'm watching. And the message was, did you hear me? I'm at your house. You need to clean your attic. Hart was alone, but he got freaked out. He went around and checked his house because he thought someone might be playing a practical joke on him. The messy attic comment was a private joke between him and Frosey. No one else should have known about it. Then Jimmy McGraw, Frosey's cousin, also got an email about an ankle injury he had gotten well after Frosey had passed away. It said, Hey Jim, how you doing? I knew you were going to break your ankle. Tried to warn you. Gotta be careful. Tell Rock for me. Great song, huh? You're welcome. Couldn't get through to him. His email didn't work. McGraw was equally as freaked out. After these two emails, no more came and nobody could explain it. People have guessed that maybe someone got into Frozy's email to mess around and just drum up some funny memories and they somehow knew of these personal details they listed in the emails. Others thought McGraw and Hart made it all up. But people privy to the situation say that they're not really those types of guys. And that narrative didn't quite fit with how specific the messages were. Some think Frozy might have set the emails to send after he was gone. But his sudden death and the mention of McGraw's injury happening later makes it seem impossible. The most out there idea is that Frozy was reaching out from beyond the grave. Of course this goes against logic, but is something those who believe in the supernatural might think possible. What really happened with these emails is still a mystery. It could be a clever trick, or maybe Frosey really is trying to reach out from the grave. That would be amazing. As for my story, I'll keep it quick. My best friend's younger brother, who was like a brother to me, was killed in a brutal car wreck with he and some friends. This took place in our hometown. And after a really long night, we all got up the next morning and I had a text from his phone that said, are you ready? And I just remember it stopped me in my tracks. It was hours after he passed and I never actually got an answer as to what it could have been. Nevertheless, rest in peace. Well, forget about Bigfoot lurking in the shadows. Apparently all you had to do was have a live TV show take place. A couple on a dating show, casually walking and talking, were about to have the show stolen from them by the infamous Bigfoot. As the camera moves across the two people, pay attention to what's happening right behind the pair. You can spot two large figures bearing an uncanny resemblance to Bigfoot, just nonchalantly walking into the woods. I'm interested in what you guys think about this one. Do we think that this was something that drew Bigfoot out? Is this channel just trying to create a viral clip? Or could this really be a legit Bigfoot capture on tape? People often say, everything's bigger in Australia. Well, a photo taken by Alec might just prove this point. This snapshot, captured one bright sunny morning in New South Wales, Australia, features an astoundingly large feline. So much so that even Alec himself could hardly believe what he was seeing. The cat with its broad head and muscular body towered over the size one would expect from your average wildcat. Its size was so unusual that some viewers began to speculate. Could this be the legendary Blue Mountain Panther? Or even Lithgow? A famed giant cat rumored to have roamed the expanses of New South Wales for over a hundred years. But one question I have, why is it that this massive cat isn't spotted more often? Is it just elusive? Or does it have some masterful camouflage? Another interesting concept people adopted from the comments is that apparently Australia had private zoos for many, many years. And when the government decided that all those zoos needed to be shut down, the owners were not allotted enough time, and some probably didn't care or didn't want to, shut down, but essentially no good way to turn in their animals. So similar to what's happened in Florida in the States with the exotic animals. They're just released into the wild and we kind of see what happens. In April 2009, Michael Green captured a three-minute video with a thermal imager in the Uwari National Forest in North Carolina. A retired chief investigator, Green had been on a two-decade-long quest for Sasquatch. 
and thought he had finally found concrete evidence. Having caught a glimpse of the creature in the forest in 2008, he spent the next year returning to the site, setting up camp, and leaving out treats like bananas, apples, peanut butter, snack bars, and even squeaky toys. This footage has actually earned the nickname of Squeaky Thermal. His perseverance seemed to pay off when, late at night on April 28, 2009, he heard sounds from the woods. He prepared the thermal imager on a tripod, connected to a digital video recorder, and moved away to wait. After two hours, he returned to find the imager's battery dead, but the bait was missing. So this thermal imager, obviously it detects heat, but for example, the heat distribution in a man in a costume would be uneven due to the insulation effect, while a living being, like a naked man or some type of animal, would appear in a more uniform color. In the footage, the figure green estimated to be around seven and a half feet tall took a snack bar, then moved back and forth in a swaying motion. This brings up an interesting point. The creature's behavior and thermal signature seem quite natural, not like someone in a costume. Could this really be a genuine Sasquatch sighting? Or is this just another unexplained phenomenon? It's definitely a compelling addition to the cryptic captures, and you can't help but wonder if Green's dedication might have just unveiled a hidden truth of the forest. But the only thing that really gives me pause, how do you let the battery die? I mean, if you've made this your life's mission, you've got to give yourself more than two hours worth of battery life. I don't know, the footage is pretty cool though. This next clip shows amazing footage of a cougar attacking a deer on a trail camera. It's amazing how stealthy they can be. You see the deer jumped and tried to break free, but that's not going to happen. The homeowner reported that the cougar came for three days and ate off the kill. On the fourth day, however, two bears showed up and dragged what was left away. Great footage to catch on a trail camera. In this clip, we see a lynx that has been brought to the area by the smell of frozen remains of a northern deer. He sniffs around and eventually locates them under a nearby tree. The only problem with this is that this kill seems to have already been spoken for. Resting in an adjacent tree is, I mean, it looks like a bobcat, they're distant cousins, but even a good sized bobcat is dwarfed by the size of this lynx. I've said this before, but except for mountain lions, people living in the United States, we don't face the threat of being attacked by these enormous, frightening, large cats, such as lions and tigers. The potential man-eaters, so to speak. Of course, mountain lions can do that, but there have been cases of people surviving and even killing mountain lions during attacks. But I digress. This next clip doesn't feature any people, but we do get to see a Bengal tiger in action. These wild gowers that roam the countryside are the perfect home run takedown to provide a lot of meat for this tiger to eat. And very quickly in the video, we see something strange. The male gower flips the female gower over and off her feet with his powerful horns, all but freely offering her up to the tiger sort of looking like he was saving himself and sacrificing her. We've seen similar behavior in another video I made when a pack of wolves were attacking a herd of buffalo. Experts will tell you that it would be highly unlikely that the male would sacrifice the female gower to save himself. Herd animals, and male gowers specifically, are highly protective of their herd. In fact, Gower bulls are known to be highly aggressive towards predators and have been observed to actively chase and attack tigers and other large carnivores to protect their herd. However, in some rare cases where a Gower is unable to fend off a predator and is at risk of being killed, 
It may attempt to flee and leave behind weaker members of the herd. I don't believe what we are witnessing would be considered a deliberate sacrifice, but more rather a survival instinct. At least that makes me feel a little better about this interaction. However, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Before this video was triggered, off camera, this owl swooped down and procured himself a nice little field mouse and is on his way back to his nest in an adjacent tree. But all of a sudden, two falcons rush in like the Secret Service and corral him to the ground. The outnumbered owl tries to stand up for himself and puts up a fight, but I think he smartly realized he was outmatched and at a significant size disadvantage, not to mention two on one. The Falcons calmly wait for him to give up. Then they gather his kill, pick it up, and carry it off to enjoy. Captured in this astonishing CCTV footage, we see a peaceful street with a few cars parked on the side of the road, However, out of nowhere, things quickly take an unexpected turn. Highlighted, you can see that a fish falls out of the sky and lands straight onto one of the vehicles. The impact is so loud that it grabs the attention of one of the neighbors, and a curious woman comes over to investigate. This is pretty crazy. What could this be? I mean, it really could only be a hawk or a falcon carrying this fish, right? And then it drops it? I'd be all ears if anyone else had any other explanations. The entire scene is quite comical and leaves everyone perplexed. According to statistics provided by the Wildlife Federation, cougars end up with the upper hand in almost all confrontations against predators or prey of equal size. They either come away with the kill or they don't back down from their opponents. As you see here, the cougar and the bear are sizing each other up. The bear is much bigger, but the cougar has a strong bite and is capable of doing some damage. The bear is much bigger it's clear that the cougar is not afraid of him. As the bear approaches the cougar cubs, the mother rushes to their aid. She immediately drives away the big pawed predator, checking on her little ones. She was able to scare the frightened bear up a tree. In another moment of this encounter, you can see the bear standing up on its hind legs, trying to make itself look bigger. But as the cougar swats and scratches, the bear figures he might as well just cut his losses and quickly runs away. This next clip is pretty strange if I do say so myself. A bystander films the moment a young buck became wedged under a vehicle on a major highway in the city. The filmer said the deer was running full speed trying to cross the road and slid on its hooves and got stuck under this man's SUV. Luckily, he and another kind man slowly jacked the vehicle up and the deer was able to pull itself out. The deer seemed pretty unfazed. Once he's freed, you can see him just kind of looking around, standing around until he eventually ran off safely. Pretty crazy thing to catch on camera. As we all know, sloths are, well, they're sluggish creatures. They typically spend their entire life high up in trees. Unfortunately, one such sloth found itself in a precarious situation when it was spotted by a hungry cougar. The big cat attempted to climb up the tree, but the trunk slippery surface made the climb a difficult one. 
Even though he had tried multiple times, the hungry cougar refused to give up and actually went to sharpen its claws to improve its grip on the tree. Amazingly, the tactic worked and he was able to reach the sloth and pull him down from the tree. In a creepy video caught on camera, a gentleman explains that around 2 a.m., he gets a notification on his phone. Apparently, his camera has picked up movement outside his house, more specifically near his pool. He thought he might have some late-night visitors trying to take a dip. He pulls up the footage on his phone and watches it a few times, thinking his eyes are playing tricks on him. He screen recorded it and zoomed in and it appears a potential ghostly figure can be seen. The figure runs through his yard and into his neighbor's yard. Check out what he found. What do you guys think of this footage? Is it just a person running down the sidewalk or through the yards? One viewer mentioned it could be a spider spinning a web in front of the camera, causing the appearance of something bigger in the distance. Could it really be a ghost? The man explains his home has experienced some unexplainable activity as well. He mentioned that while he's at work, his indoor cameras had picked up movement every day at the same exact time in his daughter's room, even though no one was home. Could this apparition be the ghost of a child that wants to play in the pool or with his daughter's toys? Let me know what you all think. In this next clip, Squatch Watchers is on site to examine a creature that was photographed by Joe Hunt. This photograph was taken from a hunting area that Joe has hunted in for 15 years. And he just can't explain what it is. David and Taylor travel to interview the man and they believe the creature could be a Sasquatch even mentioning that they have captured thermal footage of a similar creature in the same area while they were on a hunt. Although some viewers that have seen the photo claim that it might be a bear, many, many others are convinced that it is not. A man named Delbert is introduced. He's another hunter from the area that has hunted these parts since he was 11 years old. And all he can come up with is that this creature is a primate based on the joint in its foot. He doesn't believe that this creature could be a hoax because it would be way too dangerous to dress up as an ape in this hot weather and in an area that is well known for its hunting. The foursome definitely agrees it is not a bull elk or a bear or a rogue domestic cow. Here's the picture that Joe Hunt captured. Furthermore, Delbert reveals that he was a non-believer in Bigfoot for his entire life until he saw Joe's picture. He's convinced now. And Joe, the photographer of the creature, seems to be open-minded about the creature's identity, stating that it's up to them to decide what it is. He's not married to it being a Bigfoot. He just doesn't know what it is. The group goes on to discuss the location where Joe captured the picture, which used to be privately owned but is now part of the South Mountain State Park. Squatch Watchers knows this place very well. Their team have been to this area before and believe that it could be a hot spot for Bigfoot sightings. 
So what do you guys think about this creature in the photo? I'd be interested. It definitely does not look like something native to the area. I can't place it. The longer hair and of course the jointed feet that the guys mentioned are two pretty sturdy clues. As most people I'm sure, I always like to hear from the person involved in the encounter. It allows you to get a good sense of their demeanor, their personality. Do they seem like they're hungry or starved for attention? Or genuinely interested in getting to the bottom of what the creature is? No matter what. In my opinion, I think Joe falls into the latter category. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts and go check out this video on Squatch Watchers. The guys dive more deeply into it and give some convincing arguments. Nevertheless, an awesome trail cam capture. This is pretty creepy footage out of West Virginia. Now before anyone tries to say this is an alien or something, I'm pretty sure it's just a spider's legs. At first I thought it might have been whiskers of an animal, but I'm going with the spider theory. Let's watch it again and let me know what you think. These next clips are really fascinating. They've come from an awesome channel named the Ocho Verde Wildlife Channel, and they show amazing trail camera footage from the rainforest. Which I find particularly interesting being from the United States. We don't get to see any of these animals. The anteater is probably my favorite. What a strange animal. Anyhow, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. And check this guy's channel out. It is amazing. This incredible video showcases an epic battle between some wolves and a giant black bear. The wolves have a den nearby and they're protecting their precious little pups. The pups are only a few weeks old, but the powerful pack instinct of the wolves to keep them safe is on full display. Despite the bear's imposing size, it realizes that it's not worth it to go against this fiercely protective family. This was a great camera capture. It's actually shot from multiple angles so you can capture the full viewing experience. This is a pretty crazy video here. A hawk has dive-bombed a makeshift chicken coop looking to score an easy meal. After things don't go as planned, the hawk tries to abort the mission, but he's stuck. He can't seem to get out of the enclosure, and the roosters are on him. They're determined to make him pay. They chase him into the hen house where they ultimately go out of camera view. Man, those roosters were not intimidated at all. 
I really, really wonder what the end result of this was. A person exploring the forest of Amherst took a video, and it was a little disturbing. They walked upon a structure made of branches in the middle of the forest. At first glance, one might think it was made by kids playing, or even just a person seeking shelter for the night. However, upon closer inspection, the person recording the video noticed small twigs tied up in different formations, as if someone had been trying to create strange symbols. What do you guys make of these? I don't know enough about them to know if they're satanic. But what's even scarier is at the end of the video. The recording captures someone running away in the woods. Of course, the recorder didn't pursue them. Anyhow, the rumor has it that Amherst has a history of rituals and strange sightings. What do you guys think? In this scene, a female elk bravely defends her calf against a pack of wolves in the water. The pack of wolves are using cunning tactics to engage in a struggle with the female elk. To avoid the wolf pack, the mama elk takes the initiative and jumps into the river with her calf. At first, the female elk relies on her size and strength, not necessarily taking the wolf pack seriously. Although she doesn't have the large antlers of a male elk, her powerful limbs are also effective weapons. A kick from her could cause a lot of damage and even be fatal. While she's trying to fend them off and protect herself, her most important priority is keeping her calf safe, who is the true target of the wolf pack. At this point, the wolf pack has begun to wade into the water towards the elk and her calf. The mother elk takes the attack to the wolf pack to protect her calf. The wolf pack begins to use their tactics on the elk. Their strategy of retreating when the enemy advances and attacking when the enemy is vulnerable. They constantly harass and pursue her. Through years of hunting experience, the pack's coordination is impressive. You can see as they take turns attacking, not giving the mama elk any chance to catch her breath. She's becoming exhausted. Her physical and mental strength are draining. She even forgets about her calf for a moment. Seizing the opportunity, the wolf pack pounces on the calf, ready to bite. Fortunately, at the last minute, the female elk steps in. Although the wolf pack has strength in numbers, and that's a big advantage, they still do not dare confront the female elk head on. No one wants to be kicked by her. But they also cannot give up their prey. They adjust their strategy once again. We can see the female elk is infuriated and launches a powerful attack on the wolf pack, causing them to scatter. However, blinded by this rage, she makes a huge mistake while driving away the wolf pack. Her calf cannot keep up with her footsteps and the wolf pack sees an opportunity to attack. And wave after wave of wolves keep coming. The female elk has no time to rest. Facing such organized and disciplined strong wild wolves, it is almost impossible to escape. Finally, the wolf pack sees the opportunity and takes the calf. The mother wants to rescue her child, but she's missed the best time. She can only watch as her calf is dragged ashore by the wolf pack. Another harsh, cruel reality of the animal kingdom. I stumbled upon this video and read the comments, and a few viewers I encountered thought this was pretty funny. However, I have a feeling the Wolverine didn't see it that way. A man living out in the wild in Russia caught this video of a Wolverine with a bucket on its head being chased by a hungry wolf. Now I've shown some videos recently of Wolverines and I think we can all agree they are nothing to mess with. But the wolf just can't help himself. He sees that the Wolverine is at a distinct disadvantage and he's ready to make him a meal. The Wolverine does a pretty good job staving off the wolf considering he can't even see. The camera operator did say that the wolf tried to attack the Wolverine a little more aggressively. But eventually the Wolverine shook the bucket off his head and he was able to defend himself now. 
Both of them ultimately went their separate ways. Here's some really interesting footage. This deer passing by triggers this motion trail camera, but that's not the end of it. Take a look at what else the camera captured. In the background, you can see a strange, tall, column-like object passing by very quickly behind the deer's back. It was so fast that the deer barely had any time to react, except to look scared in its direction. I'm not quite sure what that thing was. The owner of the video jokingly suggested that it might be a pile of rocks walking by, but that's definitely not what it is. Anyhow, I'm just as baffled as you are. If it was just a glitch, then why did the deer react so strongly to it? If it were a glitch, he wouldn't even notice. Anyhow, I'll keep you updated if I find out more. I'm just going to let this video of this black panther and leopard play, but I'm curious who you think would win in a fight. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to issue a warning. Some people might not like the next video clip. Now, I've seen this video a few times and I really wasn't sure if I should put it in. However, when you break it down, it's really a story of never giving up, of grit, of determination, and it's less about the attack. So on this outdoor camera, you see this squirrel just enjoying some food, when all of a sudden, boom, the hawk swoops in and snatches this unexpecting squirrel. It looks like his days are numbered, but watch what happens. The squirrel is able to somehow break free and the hawk flings him. Unreal. The squirrel walked away, and honestly, I wasn't thinking he would survive. But a few days later, look who it is. Mr. Squirrel, back at the same spot. And look on his body. He's wearing the battle scars proudly. As we rewind and watch the part where the hawk flings the squirrel off to the side, what do you guys think happened? The squirrel had to have bitten him. That's all I can think of. Great camera capture. Let me know what you guys think. This next clip is very interesting and not something I necessarily knew that happened. As you can see, a bear has acquired a moose carcass. Whether he killed it or found it, I don't know. You can see him trying to bury it next to this stream while a few wolves stand by salivating. The bear grabs the disturbed earth, trying to cover him up. When he thinks he's done a good enough job, he heads off. Clearly, that was not a good enough job because the wolves quickly moved the dirt off and had a feast. When they were finished, it was the vulture's turn, and they destroyed it, eventually pulling and prying and dragging it into the stream. Just a great camera capture. CCTV footage taken at night in the dead of winter shows a moose pretty close to this home. 
The homeowner had just left for work when he received a notification on his phone that the door surveillance camera had captured something. To his surprise, he just saw a big old moose standing there in his driveway. Anyhow, he went back to work. But as we can all see, the moose shakes his head vigorously and suddenly both of his antlers fall right off. The falling antler startled the moose and he took off. Hours later, the homeowner returned and found the shed lying in the snow on his driveway. He kind of laughed and thought, I wonder if that guy was abducted by aliens. Nevertheless, he couldn't believe his luck. He brought him inside, soaked him, and cleaned him. After a while, he reviewed the surveillance footage, and he got the chance to watch the moose shed those antlers right in front of his house. The man loved his new trophy and just felt grateful for the unexpected gift from nature. I wish I had more backstory on this capture, but what's about to happen is pretty nutty. These chicks are in a cage staying warm from that heat lamp, when out of nowhere, this huge hawk shows up. He flew in from the outside and snatches one of the chicks. It's crazy. The owner said that he edited the video because it was pretty long, but about an hour later, the hawk showed back up and tried again. And you can see the hawk circling the cage. The man said that he did this for a while. Thankfully, he was unsuccessful. But man, these birds of prey, they are savages. Taken in the Philippines, this is a pretty funny video right here. You can see this little pup trying to break up a fight between these roosters. He better watch out. incredible video taken in Canada where a man and his friend walk up on a deer that has been frozen to death. The man pokes the deer with his rifle just to make sure. Whoa, I guess he's alive. So that deer is just sleeping in the field, covered in snow. The only distinguishable thing were his antlers. Man, he looked like he was sleeping hard too. Canadian deer must just be built different. Let me know about this. I know deer pick a spot and bed down. I've seen that many, many times. But I don't think I've ever seen them sleeping in the middle of the field with no surrounding protection from people or the elements. I'm curious to hear anyone's thoughts about this. This clip is just a pretty cool one to me. Training hunting dogs is big where I come from. The instructor has laid out some raw meat in a line and then funnels her dog out to the courtyard where they face it head on. Watch as all the dogs line up and obey her, not touching the meat. Except for that one little guy with the arrow over his head. He can't help it. He's the class clown. She gives the command for them to eat and they go wild. Look at the mayhem. Awesome command and control by the trainer and willpower of the dogs. Watch it a few times and each time pick a different dog to watch. It's pretty funny. Even the ones that come in at the end. 